Hi, my name is Cherie Demeline. I'm an author and I wrote The Marrow Thieves. So The Marrow Thieves is a story that's set in the very near future and it is a, a group of indigenous people that are on the run. And they're on the run because at this time in history there's been cataclysmic climate change and you know the government has fallen and one of the outcomes of all of this change is that people have lost the ability to dream. Everyone except for North America's indigenous people. And it's rumored that that ability to dream lives in the marrow of our bones. Uh, and so the government is trying to round up indigenous people to extract that ability. And so we join Frenchie, who's 15, he's Métis, and his found family, and they're on the run. So I was asked to write a short story, a short science fiction story. Um, and so I had this idea, okay, so I want to look in the future and I want it to be dystopian, short science fiction story. Um, and so I had climate change and with the government and policies. And so I wanted to look into that time in the near future um, and what could cause, you know, this dystopian future. And really what came to me was a lot of the issues from our past. So it was, it was about looking at issues of residential school and migration um, and the Indian Act and sort of moving that into the future. The essential message is one of hope and it's about finding hope in family and, and in love and friendships. The themes really range from everything from displacement to appropriation to the commodification making culture a thing um, so there's an environmental change there's there's issues of, of you know, change in government and really how we live together and what are some of the ways that we can move forward as a country So early on in the writing process, I had to make the decision of whether or not this book was going to be adult uh, or YA. Um, and it really could have gone either way. But when I thought about the message of the Marrow Thieves, about hope, about change for the future, um, I, that message really needed to, and that story really needed to land and live with young people because young people are the future. Right? I go into classrooms and I talk to young people and these are the people who are going to build and enforce the new policies, new laws that are going to build tomorrow. And so I really wanted them to have an understanding from an Indigenous perspective of what our shared history is and what our future could be.